Hey guys, I'm at 12300 Beaver Hollow Court in Chesterfield. This uh, house is a little bit east of Brander Mill, but the reason why I'm out here today is because it's a, it, to me, it seems like a killer deal. I saw it online this morning. I uh, just hit the market. I check the hot sheets every morning and I saw this baby come up $150,000. Now I'm sure it's gonna get bid up past that, but let's take a look inside and see what this is all about. So here it is. It's a single level ranch. It's sitting on a corner. And you got a cul-de-sac right there. So you're not gonna get much uh, traffic here. Not a busy street. So let's go inside. What I do like is the woodwork here. It looks like that's a, a new front stoop. Not much of a front porch, but it's enough to, you know, put a chair out there and hang out. I think it would make a great rental. Okay, so here we are. That's the front entrance right over there. But here's the living room. It opens up to like a living area here. And then around there, you're going to have the kitchen. So I'll take a walk over there. Now, my first impression is um, it needs a little bit of work, but it's not bad at all. The listing sheet said that there was uh, termite damage in the crawl space. So I'll take a peek uh, under there in a bit and see um, a lot of the lights here are missing their light plates. Um, the windows appear to be single pane. They're not too uh, efficient, but you know, again, that's just something you could replace uh, over time. They're still usable, just not pretty and efficient. Okay, so from here, I see that baseboard um, heat. I don't really like that. Um, it's probably electric. I'd have to check. But um, whenever I see that, well, actually, let's. I see a window unit right there. I see the baseboard heat. So there's no central AC in this house. So you'd have to install one. But in a rancher like this, you know, you get in the crawl space, and it's it's really no big deal to have one put in. So let's walk down the hallway. Stopping here, a little closet. So there's a bathroom here. Your tub, you got the fiberglass tub. Oh, what do you see here? It looks like they painted over a little bit. They were trying to do the, uh, I don't know, actually no, they were trying to, I was gonna say they were trying to paint the corner bead, but. It looks like they just painted the floor. That's kind of weird. So, I mean, it needs a little bit of work, but it's not bad at all. And you got a washer dryer here. So this is all in that first bathroom. And it kind of leads into that bedroom. But we won't go through here. We'll go back to the hallway. Looks like a pet had an accident. You're going to need new carpets anyway. I could kind of smell that um, they tried to clean the carpet. You could smell that carpet freshener. But I imagine over time that that smell is going to fade and you're going to smell probably dog, um, you know. Yeah, they're missing all the covers. Um, it looks like they must have painted. It looks like they painted and they removed the covers and never put them back. So this is a very small bedroom. If I had a guess, I'd say it's probably 8 feet by 10 feet. Small bedroom, small closet. really feel the heat in this bedroom. I don't know if they got the heater on, but it feels like it. This is a much bigger bedroom, so this would be the primary bedroom. Access to the bathroom. And here's the third and final bedroom. It's about as small as that first one there. Okay, uh, I would say with the paint job, it looks like, see the pictures, the listing pictures don't show a lot of the detail, but it looks like there was a repair done here. Might've been a roof leak or something. That's just my guess. Looks like somebody started working on it, but they have a long way to go. Not a long way. They have quite, you know, a little bit to do to bring it to where it needs to be. Now for $150,000, my guess is that this property is going to get bid up like way past that. If I had to guess, I'd say probably $175,000 is where it's going to come in. Uh, I tell you what, what I'm going to do is when it does close, 
I'm gonna put in the description below what the uh, final sale price was. So right now the list price is 150,000, I'm betting 175, so we'll see what happens. Okay, there's the crawl space opening and it's rather tall, which is great, I love that. I love high crawl spaces because when I have to do work under there, I, I don't have to worry about bumping my head and crawling around on my belly. Um, so I love that. I don't see any cracks in the foundation. The foundation wall looks pretty solid, I like that. Now this is the agent only remarks. Uh, be sure to structure offers accordingly. Possible extensive termite damage in the crawl space. Cash offers preferred, but will consider conventional offers. Um, and they're going to be reviewing offers on Friday at 5 p.m. Okay, just looking in the crawl space here, um, I like what I see. That's that uh, thick, I don't know if that's 11 mil uh, vapor barrier. That's not that cheap black stuff that looks like a garbage bag. That's some solid uh, vapor barrier. Um, probably needs to be realigned a little bit. But that, that doesn't look that bad. And um, I see that they, they've they been working on the plumbing. That looks like a new new fixtures, new, um, not fixtures, new um, uh, cutoff valve, the ball cutoff valve right there, and that's the main water line coming in from the street, and uh, I see how they go right into the ground, when those, those things break, man, it could get expensive, they actually sell insurance policies um, for those. Get a picture of the back porch. Okay guys, if you're still with me, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this. If you have any questions about this property or other properties you're seeing out there, uh, or if you just need an opinion on something, don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, my number's right over here, 804-301-7424. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye.